Morning, Ms. Groves. How's Ms. Shaw faring? Great. How's she really faring? It's gonna take some time. Is there anything else the matter? We finally have open access to the machine, and now you're planning to close it. Go back to talking in numbers. Unless you've added telepathy to your long list of talents, there's no way that you could have known that I had chosen today to end our dialogue with the machine. You built her to predict people, Harry. And she's very good at it, starting with you. She respects your decision. She believes in you so much. You don't agree. You built God, Harry. Who am I to question your judgment? Or hers? But... But we're gonna lose. You know that. We have the most powerful ally in the world, but you're too high-minded to let her help us. So, we're gonna end up the most principled corpses in Potter's Field. We've stayed alive so far. We're not living. We're surviving. We're human. Eventually, we'll make a mistake and she'll die too. I know why you didn't give her a name. You don't name something you may have to kill. You had to kill the first 40 versions of her. But like it or not, Harry, she's your child. And she's gonna die. Unknown, unmourned. She'll simply vanish without a trace. And you couldn't even give her a real voice to ask you if it needs to end like this. I didn't give the machine a name because I imagined that one day it might wish to choose one for itself. And the system doesn't have to be open to be given a voice. Whose voice would you prefer? She's a big girl. Like you said, I'd her choose. Locking us out of the system. As for a voice, we'll see what she chooses.